All right, here we are at the shop at EDC Specialties, and this is our titanium anodization chart. These are what we call popsicle sticks. They're um, titanium sticks, grade five, and they're basically shaped like popsicles, but what you'll see is a difference from top to bottom. So this is a bead blasted finish, and this is a belted finish. So you can see what something looks like when it's faced and when it's blasted in the same color spectrum. And sometimes it makes a huge difference, sometimes not so much. So when we're looking at the titanium anodization spectrum, we basically are ranging from just under 100 volts is about the highest because anything over that starts to go back to gray. So we get a nice tealish green color here. And you can see there's not a whole lot of difference between uh, the finishes here, but you'll see it change quite a bit as we move. As it comes through these nice blues, aqua blue, and then into purples, get a little splash of pink and a slight orangish hue, but pinkish more so in the uh, 65 volt. Then you'll get into the golds, yellows, and then it starts receding into um, more of a gray until it starts pulling a little bit cooler colors into blues, nice sky blue. And then once you get down into the mid 20s, you have a really nice rich blue. 25 is a very good looking blue, regardless of whether you're doing the matte or the brushed finish. Um, 22 and a half borders on that <clears throat> blurple color. And as you can see, 20 moves down into purple and then you get into the early colors here of gold and bronze and copper. These are really, really nice, rich colors on this end of the spectrum. Those vary differently, uh, vary quite a bit from finish to finish on those. In addition, there are many creative techniques that we can do with titanium. Again, top and bottom is reflecting matte or uh, polished finish. This is where we can actually take uh, metal off after an initial color and, and hit it with a second color. So this is like sculpting. This is laser work and you can go in and do several applications of laser work and anno at different colors to achieve different effects. This is a really cool finish. This one here is called Chemical Warfare and it's done with a, an acid and heat treatment. This is actually painted on with our, our paintbrush. So it's a mottled effect. This one is a house finish, something that has a beautiful color spectrum in the light and it's called ATM. And then of course, again, with the laser, you can do all types of different techniques. So you can go back and make separate colors as well as doing other effects like a uh, distressed look like this one here where an emery board is taken to the first color and then you can go back and hit a second or uh, this tumbled finish here, which is go, undergoes the same type of a process. Cool thing about uh, Electra anodization is you can fade it from color to color. So that's on the artist's side. We, we move that titanium through the spectrum. And then finally, with flame, titanium can also be anodized. Colors are much more limited. You'll see the bronze, purples, blues, uh, but you can't get through this entire spectrum of color like you can with electro anodization. So that's part one of titanium anodization. Next, we'll take you back to the workshop and show you how it's done.